Hi everyone, Vacha here from RecordingStudio9.com and thanks for joining me again today. Today we are looking at how to add effects bus in SoundBridge. SoundBridge is a new free DAW that's been on the market for about uh, just over a month now that supports unlimited number of tracks, unlimited number of VST plugins and etc. I do already have a couple of videos demonstrating SoundBridge. But today we're going to look at how to add effects bus. Adding effects bus makes it really easy to send multiple instruments or multiple tracks into the same effects. So you don't have multiple copies of the VST plugin, uh, let's say reverb, on every track that you want reverb on. And at the same time, if you want to group the instruments together so that they sound all melded together, so sounding as if they are in the same room, usually you can achieve that with a little bit of reverb for each track being sent to the same reverb engine. So, how do we edit? We simply click on the plus sign. Instead of adding a, an audio track or a MIDI track, we're going to add a return track. And let's call this Reverb Bus. Created. So now we have a reverb bus right at the bottom right, right there. And on this bus or track, channel, whatever you like to call it, I'm going to call it bus. We can add plugins. So let's access our plugins. That's our reverb plugin. Just going to drag it and drop it right there. Let's show plugin. That's our plugin as a default reverb. And I'm going to select the preset already. And just to make it more prominent, the effect, I'm just going to select outer space so that gives us um, the most. So we can actually hear uh, what we're doing. Bit of exaggerated so that you can understand, so you can hear what is happening. And you might find uh, something different with SoundBridge. Because it's designed for touch screen as well, there is no OK button. So every time I double click, you can tell how the settings change on the actual plugin without the OK button. So that makes it really easy for touch screen users. Okay, and then you just click anywhere and it disappears. And we can close this one. Let's minimize that. So now we have our reverb bus with the reverb plugin in there. So how do we send tracks to the reverb bus? That's easy as well. We go into the mixer and you can see at the moment we have reverb bus with send. So let's select this acoustic guitar that I have. Let's solo the guitar bus. And just so that we can hear the reverb, I'm going to solo the reverb as well. And just press play. This is the dry acoustic guitar that's been recorded. So we add reverb by sending certain amount, percentage, using this slider here, to the reverb bus, which is right there. So as I slide it up, you will see that the level will go up here because signal is being sent to this bus. Now you should be able to hear the reverb as well. Let me mute the reverb bus. That's a dry guitar. Now with reverb. So if I want to send more guitars, now this is this track, again with 100% send to exaggerate the reverb effect, so you can hear it.
just like on any analog console where you use the knob to send certain amount of the signal into the effects unit of the uh, analog console mixer it's the same principle here it's no reverb now reverb simple as that so that's how it, it works so more you add the more of these sends will add up so let's uh, give that a try let's go to the track view and let's add this time return let's call it delay bus create so now we have a delay bus right at the bottom let's add a delay just just gonna quickly select one there we go yeah that's good enough just for our example so now we should have a delay bus as well now as you can see we have two send knobs one for the reverb and one for the delay so let's put reverb on that one and delay on that one This is just the delay. No delay. Delay. Let's add the reverb. A little bit of reverb. So as you can see from the example, by just having reverb and delay separately and we can send certain amount, the required amount to each effect bus, we can achieve completely different result. Now one thing I have to mention, and I discovered this, and I hope that SamBridge developers will solve this, that the master bus, which is right here, also has send on its channel. And what happens is, if I, let's just unsolo everything. If I increase, it creates the feedback. Because basically sending it back to the reverb bus, and the reverb bus has master track in as its output. So it creates a loop going from the master to the reverb, from the reverb to the master, master to the reverb, and so on. The same thing with the delay. Now, <laughs> so I hope in future releases they will uh, resolve this tiny bug. Uh, I don't know if you call it bug, but it, it, is a, it can cause a problem if you're not careful, making sure that you do not send any send from the master bus back to <laughs> the, the reverb or delay or the effects bus that you just created just a note that you should have so let's have a quick listen what it actually sounds like now with some uh, reverb and delay on uh, on the guitars Well, there you go. I hope this was helpful. Now you know 
how to add effects buses in Sambridge. If it was helpful, please make sure you do give me the thumbs up. And if you have any other questions in regard to adding reverb buses, sends, effects, and so on, feel free to comment below because I do hang out and do answer as many questions er, or comments as I can. Till next time, as always, thanks for watching. Cheerio and have a great time making music.